Hi, I'm Chris Bober with Deep Realty in Omaha, Nebraska, and welcome back to my Creating Wealth Through Real Estate Investment series. Today we're going to talk about dollars and cents, and we're going to talk about the different ways of making a dollar and how making a dollar through cash flow real estate investment is ultimately the best way to do it. You see, when you make a dollar at your job, you're automatically subject to income tax. You're going to have to pay federal and state taxes, FICA, FICA, Medicare, Medicaid, and if you walk away with 65 cents out of that dollar, you're doing good. You can also make money by selling assets, whether it's selling real estate, selling stocks and bonds, gold, whatever it might be. Any profit on that comes back and it gets taxed as capital gains. Of course, capital gains went up last year. They're probably going to continue to go up. So that's not the best, necessarily the best way to make a dollar. I'm talking about making a dollar through cash flow. Now, when I talk about an investment property, I'm talking about cash flow. It could be a farm, it could be a, uh, an apartment complex, it can be a rental house down the street. But it actually has to make money. And after you put your operating, take your operating income, subtract the operating expenses, and subtract your debt service, that cash flow has to be positive. If it isn't, don't buy it or you have to do something to get it positive because you're ultimately trying to make money here. Now, another benefit of investing is the principal reduction. That basically is building equity. It's paying down the principal of your note. It's also adding equity. The best part about it is the tenant is making. If you have a renter, a can, where it's, whether it's cash farming or um, tenants in an apartment or a house, they're paying your mortgage for you. That's a great benefit. All right. They're also giving you money um, to take home. Now, the, the, another good thing about this is the tax savings. Um, you several ways to, to do tax savings when it comes to real estate. Um, your operating expenses minus your interest, your minus your depreciation in the form of you can depreciate. You can't depreciate the land, but you can depreciate the improvements, the land improvements, and the personal property. So you subtract those off your operating income, and you get your taxable income. Well, in most situations, if you're leveraged like you should be, this is going to come out to be a loss. Now, don't panic because this loss is just on paper. This is what you report to the IRS. It's very legal. Talk to your accountant. They'll guide you through it. But this loss gets offset against passive in income elsewhere in your portfolio. So that's a great thing. It's, sa it's the same as cash, really. Now, the last thing is the appreciation. This is, some, this is holding the property and its value going up over time. Now, if it was up to me in analyzing this, I would actually wipe the appreciation off of here. Why? Because... Appreciation is icing on the cake, but the cake should taste just as good without the icing. Plus, when you do sell the property, you're going to be subject to capital gains taxes unless you perform a 1031 exchange. So don't count appreciation in your evaluation, but you need to count the cash flow, the principal reduction, and the tax savings. All these things add up to investing in cash flow real estate, and you can do this over time to put money in your pocket, save money on your IRS form. It's a great thing. So, really, at the end of the day, when you talk about cash flow from real estate, you're not paying cents on the dollar. You're doubling, tripling, quadrupling your money, the value of the dollar. And over time, the return on your investment actually becomes a return on your equity as you pay down the principal reduction, the property appreciates. At some point, you say, you know what? I actually have too much equity in this property. I need to sell it, perform a 1031 exchange, and purchase multiple properties. That's how you create wealth through real estate investing. So if you have any questions, please give me a call. My next series is going to be talking about how to evaluate your return on your equity if you have real estate now or if you're looking to purchase income producing real estate. So remember, for any real estate questions, call Chris Bober at 402-312-5076 or, of course, you can always go to chrisbober.com. Thank you for tuning in and remember, call Chris Bober for all of your real estate needs.